Hello everyone, welcome to you all. So today in this video, I am going to discuss about what is agile model in software engineering or what is agile model in SDLC. Okay, so here I have written something like agile model or agile methodology or agile process. So both three are same. Okay, so if uh, in your interview or in your life, if anyone can ask, that what do you mean by agile model or what do you mean by agile methodology or what do you mean by agile process both three the same okay so now what do you mean by agile model what is basically agile model okay so agile model is a combination of both iterative and incremental process so agile model is a combination of let me write it so, combination of both iterative and incremental process. Agile model basically a combination of both iterative and incremental process. Now, what do you mean by iterative and what do you mean by incremental? First, we have to understand that two things. Okay. So, what do you mean by iterative? So, iterative means the same process will be repeating again and again. Okay. So, iterative means the same process will be repeating again and again. So, what do you mean by process? So here, process means how the software, I mean, how the software works or how we develop the software or how we develop the software and how we are going to release that software to the customer so there should be some process we have to follow that okay iterative means the same process we will be repeating again 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 and again means we will first we will take the or we will get the requirement then designing will be done then development will be done then testing will be done and at the last, we are going to release that software to the customer. So, this is the process. Okay. So, this process will be keep repeating. Okay. So, we are the, the, that the same process. So, means first requirement, we are, get, we, we are taking the requirement. Okay. So, requirement will be uh, requirement. Uh, we will take the requirement. Then, the designing will be done then development will be done, then testing will be done and then we are going to release that software to the customer. So, this process will be keep on repeating. Okay. So, that is called iterative. Clear? Now, coming to the next one is that what do you mean by incremental? So, incremental means the modules will be keep on adding. The modules will be keep on adding now what do you mean by module so module means nothing but feature okay software features so that means the features will be keep on adding or the features will be keep on increasing so that is called as incremental process okay so agile model basically combinations of both iterative and incremental process iterative means the same process will be repeating again and again means we will take the requirement then designing will be done then development will be done then testing will be done and finally we are going to release that software to the customer so this is the process so this process will be keep on repeating okay that is called iterative process and what do you mean by incremental so incremental means modules will be keep on adding now, what do you mean by module? Module means nothing but feature. Software feature. So, the features will be keep on adding or the features will be keep on increasing. So, that is called as incremental process. So, in agile model, so the, what, what is the, what is the main goal of agile model? So, the main goal of agile model is that mainly we can say that customer satisfaction. Now, how? So, 
whenever we are delivering okay whenever we are delivering our software then suppose i am giving giving you one very basic example okay then you can i mean uh, will be uh, better understand okay suppose let's say this is one company okay and this is one customer okay this is the this is the company company i'm i'm naming it as like uh, company a okay and this is the customer customer so i'm naming it as like customer b now how the agile model work basically suppose that customer or that client has requested that company to make a software okay so maybe just take an example maybe that software will take developed or to release the customer it will take one year okay so it will take one year so now in agile mode we are not doing like suppose uh, uh, the customer the customer has given some set of requirement and to fulfill the requirement or to build the software it will take one year so we are so we are take as a company we are taking the requirement from the customer and we are not saying the customer then okay you have given the requirement so came back after one year and take your whole project right so as a company we are not saying the customer like that requirement or that software will be taken to complete almost one year so you have given some requirement okay fine now you will came back you will came back after one years and take my take my take the whole project so in agile model we are not following like this so how we will do okay so whenever the customer has given some set of requirements as a company as we are following the agile model so we will be break some small modules suppose uh, uh, let's say there is 20 modules are there okay so 20 modules will break will break it down with some small piece okay so now let's say after every two weeks so suppose we have given some time that after every two week we will give you or we will give the uh, a software some piece of software to the customer okay in agile model what we will do okay we will we will divide that whole module with some smaller module okay so then we will then after two weeks or after one week so every one weeks or every two weeks we will be releasing some set of software or some set of code or some piece of code to the customer now the customer will see that requirement see that software and they will be satisfied okay okay this is uh, working as per my requirement or if something is not as per the requirement then the customer will request to the company that please change something so as per the customer feedback the company will change the company will change that requirement so basically the main goal of agile model is the customer satisfaction by developing the working piece of software the customer within very short span of time okay that is called agile model so now you guys are very much clear about what is agile model and one thing you have to remember that in agile model there should some good communications between my customer my product manager my business analyst my developer and my tester so they will all work together the communication should be good and as we are dividing the whole software with some piece of software then every time the customer can change their requirement so as per customer customer request so we can change the requirement 
means the requirement changes is allowed that is the very very important thing that in agile model the requirement changes will be allowed and obviously there should be some good communication good relationship between the customer the, uh, with the uh, product manager with the business analyst with the developer and with the tester they will all sit with together and they will discuss their internally and they will start their work so that is agile model okay so now you are uh, clear about that what is agile model now so the main goal of agile model is that the customer satisfaction by delivering the working piece of software to the customer within very very short period of time that is called agile model now what are the principle to follow for the agile model obviously there should some principle like the principle or we can say it's like advantages why we use agile model what is the advantages of there what is the principle of there okay so first first thing is that requirement changes are allowed at the any stage of software development the first point is that requirement changes are allowed at the any stage of software development that is the first thing then the second point is that there will be a very good communication between my customer my product manager my business analyst my developer and as well as my tester okay then third point we can say like it is a very easy model so obviously it's a very easy model because we are we are dividing the full software with some piece of software so suppose there is 20 modules are there okay so we are taking one module to complete within that one week or two week so with that time we will develop the software, we will design the software, we will test the software and finally we will deliver the software to the customer and then customer can see that and customer if there is anything need to change then customer will request to change to our company then the company will change that requirement as per the customer okay so it's a very easy model and the fourth one is that the the releasing the software release will be very fast okay the software will be released very fast now question in your mind like why or how how the software release will be very fast as i have already told you in the agile model like we are dividing full software with some piece of software so suppose just just suppose there is 20 modules are there okay so we are dividing 20 modules by one module so suppose there is some time span or time period is like that two weeks so every two weeks will take one module in one module let's say in one module 10 points are there or 10 tasks are there okay so within that within that uh, uh, two weeks will complete that one module or to or 10 task okay so after whenever the two weeks will be over will release that one module means that some piece of software to the customer that's why the release the software release will be very fast in that agile model process okay these are the principle of software uh, these are these are the principle of agile model okay now coming to the disadvantages of agile model okay the first disadvantage is that for the long term period so if there is any project which will, which will take long term the uh, which project is long term basis project it is very difficult to handle so for the long term project agile model is very difficult to handle first thing 
first disadvantage second disadvantage so there will be less focus on designing and documentation part because in every one week or two week we are randomly doing our development and we are uh, doing the testing then we will release, release the software to the customer so that's why it will be very there will be very less focus or less time for designing and documentation okay so this is the second disadvantage third disadvantage is that so as we are following agile model so in that agile model the developer and i mean the team should be experienced the experienced team should be needed so if you are experienced if you have en enough more enough knowledge on your development or testing or designing perspective then agile model is perfect so if you are experienced so you can easily adopt that agile model okay so these are the disadvantages of agile model so as a freshers or as a junior cannot handle that agile model because frequent because frequent delivery are present in that agile model okay so these are the disadvantages of agile model now you guys are very very much clear about that what is agile model and how it will work or how it's work and one important thing in agile model so there is one topic is there a topic name is scrum so that is related to that agile model so what is scrum and some scrum related things in my next video i will discuss that okay so don't worry about that just follow me just support me you will in the day end you will get everything in software testing okay so if you guys have any doubt please comment me uh, i think this video will be very helpful to you if yes then one like please and subscribe to my channel edupad and clicking on the bell icon share this channel to your nearest friend okay so see you in the next videos with some another topic of agile model that is scrum thank you